11 Hidden Signs The Shy Girl Likes You, How To Know If A Shy Girl Likes You Leave a like on the video my love and if you are new to the channel subscribe to receive new advice, do this to help the channel continue to grow, leaving a like is all I ask as a gift. 11 Hidden Signs That Shy Girls Like You Have you ever felt puzzled trying to figure out if the shy girl that you are into likes you back? Well, don't worry, I've got you covered because today I'm revealing the signs that indicate a shy girl has interest in you, and believe me, you'll want to know these. So let's delve right in and solve this mystery. She laughs at your jokes, we all appreciate a good laugh, right? But when the shy girl you've been eyeing bursts into giggles every time you crack a joke, it's a clear sign she might be into you. Genuine laughter is hard to fake, especially for reserved types. Why does this happen? When a shy girl likes you, your jokes become funnier, your stories become more interesting. It's like you're a stand-up comedian at a sold-out show. She genuinely enjoys your company and finds comfort in your humor. Remember, laughter is a universal language of connection. It breaks down walls, fosters bonding, and can be a subtle sign of romantic interest. She stares at you, then looks away, you catch her staring at you from across the room, but the moment your eyes meet, she quickly looks away. If this scenario sounds familiar, congrats, my friend, she might just have a crush on you. Shy people are typically reserved and may feel uncomfortable with direct confrontation, including eye contact. However, if she's interested in you, she will be naturally drawn to you, watching you when she thinks you're not looking. She engages in mirroring, next up on the list is a psychological phenomenon called mirroring. This is when a person subconsciously imitates the gestures, speech, or attitudes of someone they are interested in. It's a way of building rapport and showing empathy. If a shy girl likes you, she might mirror your actions without even realizing it. For instance, if you cross your arms, she might do the same. If you lean in while speaking, she might lean in too. It's her subconscious way of saying, hey, we are alike. We get along. She initiates conversations, shy people initiating conversations. Yeah, it happens. Granted, it might take us some time to gather the courage, but if she likes you, she'll make the effort. She may start with small talk, ask your opinion on something, or she might text you first, even if it's just to share a meme or ask about your day. Remember, for someone who is naturally shy, this takes a lot of guts. She opens up to you, here comes a big one. If a shy girl starts sharing personal stories, thoughts, or feelings with you, it's a huge sign she likes you. Shy people usually guard their inner world fiercely, and if she's letting you in, it means she trusts you and wants to deepen the connection. She responds positively to your touch, touch is a powerful way we humans communicate and connect. If a shy girl likes you, she might feel comfortable with you touching her arm lightly or she may not flinch if you brush against hers. But remember, always make sure any touch is appropriate and consensual. She finds reasons to spend time with you, if a shy girl is spending a lot of time with you, that's a golden sign she likes you. She might join clubs you're in, show up at events where you'll be, or take the same route home as you do. She's nervous around you, nervousness is a common reaction when we're around someone we're attracted to. If a shy girl likes you, she might show signs of nervousness like fidgeting, stumbling over words, or blushing. She remembers small details about you, have you ever been surprised by someone remembering a tiny detail you mentioned in passing? Feels good, doesn't it? Well, if a shy girl likes you, she will remember these small details because she values what you say. She's more talkative online, for many shy people, online interactions can be much easier than face-to-face -face ones. If a shy girl likes you, she might be more open and talkative over text or social media. She's protective of you, if a shy girl likes you, she'll often be protective of you. It's her way of showing that she cares. She might defend you in a conversation, show concern if you're not feeling well, or even get a bit jealous when you talk about other girls. Now, with these 11 signs, you are now a pro at reading shy girls. But wait, there's more. Do you want to unlock the secrets of a woman's body language or detect the undeniable signs of sexual tension? Choose your path, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more fantastic content. If you've made it this far, my love, comment below with the word, 100%, or something else to let me know, to confirm that you've received the knowledge from the video so far. For more interesting topics, subscribe to the channel, leave a like on the video and share it later. Let's continue. How to get a girlfriend who's perfect for you, 22 secrets to attracting love that lasts. 
Do this to find true love. Are you done with the endless dating game longing for something genuine? Then you are in the right place because today we are going to tackle this head on with 22 tips that will set you on a path to true love. Eager to find the one? Well, let's dive in. Understand what love means to you. Now, the concept of love varies greatly from person to person. Reflecting on what love signifies for you is the first step towards finding a compatible partner. Now consider your past experiences, understand what worked, what didn't, and what you wish for in the future. Your definition of love can change with time, echoing your personal evolution, and that's perfectly okay. Know yourself first. Loving yourself is the cornerstone of finding true love. By identifying your strengths, weaknesses, values, and aspirations, you create a blueprint for your emotional needs. This self-understanding propels you towards a partner who matches your needs while enabling you to set personal standards and affirming your completeness without a partner. Be real and authentic. Honesty and authenticity, they are captivating. So, to attract genuine love, you must offer your authentic self, sharing your true opinions and interests. A relationship based on pretense is not sustainable or fulfilling. Remember, the goal is to find a partner who appreciates your real self. Obviously, be open to meeting new people. Engaging in your favorite activities often presents opportunities to meet like-minded individuals. Being open to these new interactions could lead to unexpected connections and potential love interests. Join social activities that excite you, and you might just cross paths with that special someone. Develop emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence is the capacity to understand and manage emotions. It is vital to building and nurturing love. It helps you express your emotions articulately, understand your partner's feelings, and resolve conflicts effectively. Cultivating empathy, self-awareness, emotional control, and effective communication skills can enrich your relationships profoundly. Build a solid friendship. Many enduring romantic relationships start with a solid foundation of friendship. Seeing someone as a friend first allows you to understand their true personality, their values, and their treatment of others. It also eases the initial pressure that often accompanies dating, helping you to build a deep connection before stepping into a realm of romance. Know what you want in a partner. Now, a clear idea of what you seek in a partner can actually guide your search. Think about the qualities you value most. It could be kindness, humor, integrity, or ambition. Remember, you are not seeking perfection but compatibility that complements your personality and your lifestyle. Patience is key. The journey to love isn't a race, it requires patience and trust in the process. Avoid rushing into a relationship due to societal expectations or a fear of solitude. Quick decisions can lead to incompatible matches. Remember, true love is worth waiting for. Be prepared for rejections. It's inevitable. Rejection can be tough, but it is an inevitable part of the dating process. Not every person you meet will be the right fit for you, and that's okay. Rejections teach us about ourselves and our preferences, bringing us one step closer to the right match. They don't define your worth. Maintain an optimistic mindset. Staying optimistic can make the journey to love much more enjoyable. Even though finding true love can take time, maintaining a positive outlook opens up possibilities and helps you to seize opportunities. So, have faith in love and believe in your worthiness. Understand that love is a choice. Love transcends mere emotions or initial attraction, it's a deliberate choice. It's about deciding to love and stay committed to a person even when the going gets tough. Realize that the journey of love isn't always going to be a bed of roses. There will be times when things may seem challenging, but that is when true love shows its power. It's about two people choosing to work through these obstacles, growing together, and emerging stronger. Understanding this helps set realistic expectations for a lasting relationship where mutual work, compromise, and respect become the cornerstones. Embrace vulnerability. Being vulnerable might feel intimidating, but it's a crucial aspect of forging a deep emotional connection. It's about allowing yourself to be seen for who you truly are, with your strengths and weaknesses, dreams and insecurities. By sharing these parts of you, you invite your partner to do the same, creating a space of trust and intimacy. It's through such vulnerability that you foster a bond strong enough to withstand the tests of time. So, let your walls down, open your heart, and embrace the beauty of vulnerability. Don't be afraid to seek professional help. Sometimes, despite our best efforts, 
we find ourselves stuck in reoccurring patterns that prevent us from finding and maintaining healthy relationships. If you feel that's the case, don't hesitate to seek professional help. Therapists and relationship coaches can provide valuable insights into your patterns, helping you to understand underlying issues and guide you towards healthy relationship habits. Remember, seeking help isn't a sign of weakness but an indication of your commitment to personal growth and finding true love. Keep healthy boundaries. Even in the closest relationships, boundaries are very important. They preserve your individuality, foster respect, and prevent one-sided expectations or demands. Whether it's about personal space, time, emotional boundaries, or decision-making, it's crucial to communicate what you are comfortable with. Healthy boundaries lead to healthier, more balanced relationships where both partners feel valued and respected. Don't neglect your personal growth. In the quest for love, don't forget the importance of personal growth. As an individual, you need to continually grow, learn, and evolve as does your partner. Supporting each other's personal growth strengthens your bond and adds depth to the relationship. This means respecting each other's personal goals, encouraging one another, and understanding that growth often comes with changes. So, welcome those changes as they make your relationship much more enriching and dynamic. Practice effective communication. Communication is the lifeblood of any relationship, be it your feelings, expectations, boundaries, or issues. Remember, your partner isn't a mind reader. Share your thoughts, listen actively, and ensure there's mutual understanding. But communication isn't just about talking. Nonverbal cues are equally important. Pay attention to your partner's body language, expressions, and actions. They often reveal what words don't. Good communication fosters transparency, trust, and mutual respect, which form the bedrock of a lasting relationship. Be ready to forgive. In every relationship, misunderstandings and disagreements are inevitable. Holding on to grudges or resentments, however, these are very destructive. So, learning to forgive is a vital element in sustaining a loving relationship. Forgiveness doesn't mean ignoring the wrongs, it's about acknowledging them, expressing your feelings, and then letting go. This makes room for healing, understanding, and continued love. However, remember that forgiveness has its boundaries, and repeated disrespectful or hurtful behavior should not be tolerated. Share your life, not just your heart. True love is about sharing your life with your partner, not just your emotions. So, engage your partner in your interests, your passions, your challenges, and your triumphs. Let them into your world and take an interest in theirs. This doesn't mean losing your individuality but creating a shared space where you both can grow, celebrate, and even face challenges together. This shared life fosters deeper understanding, mutual respect, and a strong bond between partners. Cultivate shared experiences. Building a repository of shared experiences enhances your emotional connection. These could be simple everyday activities like cooking together, taking a walk, or watching a movie, or special events like traveling or attending a concert. These shared moments become your unique couple narrative, which strengthens your bonds and gives you beautiful memories to look back on. It's these shared experiences that often form the glue holding you together during challenging times. Nurture your relationship like a plant. A relationship needs constant care and nurturing to grow. So, invest time, effort, and affection into your relationship. Regularly express your love and appreciation, celebrate each other's accomplishments, and support each other during tough times. Be there for each other, not just in words but in action. Keep the spark alive by surprising each other, trying new things together, or simply spending quality time. Remember, a well-nourished relationship blooms beautifully, spreading love and happiness. Maintain your individuality even as you become a we. It's essential to maintain the I even in the closest relationships. Don't lose your identity in the relationship. Maintain your hobbies, interests, friendships, and personal time. This preserves your sense of self, fosters personal growth, and prevents dependency. Remember, a strong relationship consists of two complete individuals who choose to be together, not two halves trying to become one. Your partner should respect your individuality, and you should do the same. Celebrate your differences as they add variety and richness to your relationship. Practice gratitude. In the hustle and bustle of everyday life, it's easy to take your partner for granted. But expressing gratitude for the little things can work wonders for your relationship. Regularly acknowledge the love, effort, and support that your partner provides. 
This can be as simple as just saying thank you for their kindness, appreciating their patience, or telling them how their smile brightens your day. Gratitude cultivates a positive atmosphere, reinforcing your bond and making your partner feel valued and loved. That is it for our guide to finding true love. But wait, there's more to learn. What if I told you that our next video is all about secret flirts and signals that most men overlook? Or maybe you're curious about the telltale signs she's ready to be a girlfriend. Pick one, you won't regret it. Thank you for joining us, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.